Well, I wish I could say I did have a strategy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't really know yeah. what to do, um, except that um, I did meet with a couple of friends at various times who gave me some very good advice. And this is one very important thing, of course, is to have support, have have people who can support you. And I immediately reached out to find friends who could support me, who believed in marriage, who wanted um, to help me, you know, get my marriage back together so it wouldn't have a divorce. And um, one of the people that I met with said, and of course, when we got together, I was talking about all the things going on, you know, I was just totally, totally obsessed with what was happening. And, and she said, Linda, put him on the back burner and focus on God and let God show you what he wants to show you. And that was really important, and that was major. That was a major part of it, um, just really um, focusing on God. And when I did that, you know, God started showing me the things that I needed to do. That made a difference. And another friend uh, that I got together with, um, too, this was really early in the separation, only a couple weeks afterwards, um, and I was uh, still very upset, and she made a comment that really impacted me. And she said, um, she said, call him up and tell him to take a year. And, and I said, what? And she said, he's confused, Linda. He said, she said, just tell him to take a year. What's a year in a whole lifetime? What if he takes a year and he figures things out and you get back together and you have 50 or, or 20 years happy after that? And I thought, well, yeah. That would be good, and so that's what we did. And um, I did. I didn't tell him exactly what to do, but I did start giving him time. And mm. so, and so, um, that was one of the things that really made a difference. That's it awesome. Really helped. So, as we conclude our conversation, obviously, there's a happy ending oh, to yes. this story. God has put things back together between you and your husband. So, what did you see God do in? really bringing about this reconciliation? Well, one of the big things he did is to show me the things that I needed to do. And and it took a whole year for me to realize that I had a part in it, you know, that some of it was my fault. So when he started, when I started seeing my part in it and started making changes, and one thing that's very important is starting to be positive. Started, and I didn't, I didn't criticize him. I didn't say negative things. I started really saying positive things to him to encourage him and give us a safe uh, environment for us to be in together. And that really made a difference. And so I would say that safety, helping him to feel safe with me again, and and he started making some changes. He really had an encounter with the Lord mm -hmm. again. But giving him the time, I mean, it was three years. And so giving him that time for God to work. Because the thing is, there's something happening that God needs to iron out in our lives. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you can give him the time to do it, you know, there is a very good chance that things can work out between two people, even if only one of them really wants that to happen.